All right, so I said I would do it, and now I'm doing it. This is the season premiere review of Villains of Valley View. I think something like that. Okay. Yeah, that took like a week or so. <laughs> it's like I just spit through. I was zooming, 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 zooming. But anyways, here we go. So, I'll go with the little review first. Then I'm going to go into spoilers. And if this does good, I will continue reviewing this show. Just like how it was with um, Danger Force. Yep. So, first things first. Someone said that this is the answer to Danger Force. And I'm like, are you stupid? This is not an answer to Danger Force. No, this is a long time answer to the Thundermans. Get your facts straight. <laughs> At least the good news is that they won't go as low as what happened to the Thundermans. They decided to give us a baby and then the baby turned to a toddler and her catchphrase was something I'm like, why do we need her? <laughs> but notice the fact that there was a mom and dad. They had a sister and he had two brothers. <gasps> well, actually, no. They had a sister, a brother, then another sister. So this time's reverse where you have a brother, a sister, and a brother. But this time, the brother actually is a little bit older, 13 years old. So, and <laughs> it's kind of funny. It was like, oh, no, it's kind of funny where it's like the Thundermans. Well, the little girl actually got her powers like at, what, three years old or something? And she was able to teleport. Yeah, my goodness. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is their answer to the Thundermans that has been canceled for a long while now. But considering it did actually do a crossover with Henry Danger, and Henry Danger got their spinoff of Danger Force, technically they're in the same exact world. So still, it's more like going after Thundermans even though they're gone. As for the answer to Danger Force, um, they did have something. It was called Lab Rats. Yeah, so technically, Nickelodeon's answer to um, Lab Rats was Danger Force. Well, technically, is more of the fact of, and I know I'm going with technicals. Just Let me just finish this, and then I'll talk about this, the show, what I thought about it. It technically was... Uh, make sure that they're going to have a live action hero show because it was doing good. All right, now let's go with this show. So this show, I thought it was decent enough. They have a laugh track. I really hope they don't overuse it. I really hope they don't. But personally, I thought this show was actually decent. It was pretty decent. The mom is kind of hot. Can't hit on the daughter because she's most likely under 18 years old. <laughs> but... I think everything was okay. Just a little bit. It's like I'm pretty sure, most likely, the reason why I have a little bit of a wavery thing with Havoc, aka Amanda. I mean, yeah, Amy, aka the girl that you can't say, oh, she's hot. I think her acting skills need work. It's like it's either that or I just don't like the fact that she's kind of dry. Yeah, dry humor girls, women, they kind of suck. <laughs> Anyways, well, I recommend watching this. I think it definitely is a watch, especially if you have no other choice and you're like, okay, I can either go to bed or watch this show and then something better will be afterwards. It's like, yeah, watch the show. Yeah, I like it. I say you should watch it. Give at least one chance. And that's about it. I'm not going to say anything about DVD and Blu-ray releases because it's too far soon to mention that. But let's go with now the spoiler talk of what happens in the episode. So in the episode, we get them in a small town of Texas. It's because the mom actually didn't get promoted and um, Onyx promoted someone else who is younger. And because of that, the daughter actually went over there to Onyx and said, hey, my mom should have actually got a promotion. He's like, no, she's not worthy to lead my my army. And besides, she can't even lead her family well. And then Havoc actually did a sonic blast to um, Onyx, and Onyx fell to the side. I was like, damn, you're pretty much not really that powerful, are you? Yeah, the sad part is that he didn't even use his power to actually get back up. 
Yeah, he just still stayed on the side of the freaking um on the side on the freaking ground and he just gave a big green push back and said, Yeah, well get him, kill them all, kill the whole entire family. So and that's why they actually had to relocate to Texas and drop their um villain identities. Notes have it got her ass whooped by um Starlight, yes, I know. Sorry, sorry for saying that. I shouldn't have said that word. Sorry, children. Yes, but considering this is now supposed to be like not for kids. Oh well. Anyways, yeah. So apparently she got whooped by a black girl. It's like yeah, the black girl kicked the white girl's ass. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah. The only missed part was the fact of where it's like oh okay, Starlight's black. Okay, cool. And then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, try my new sneakers. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? No, don't, 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 don't cash out. Don't do that. No, don't do that. And she got a freaking damn pair of shoes that are gold. Oh, what the fuck? I thought they were actually kind of playing up the idea of Stargirl. <laughs> DC's show that most likely might have been canceled. I don't know. I don't know if they did cancel her or not, but I'm like, yeah, she's not at age, so yeah, that sucked. I'm not watching. <laughs> Sorry to be a jerk, but that's the truth. That's the truth. What do you want from me? But anyway, so they found a place, a grandma, and she has a granddaughter. She is now renting it to them, and well... Cast form, aka the 13 year old, eventually got his powers, and then the mom and dad decided to play dro play tricks all over the damn city, and it's pretty funny. That one would be funny. We can't see it because it's just in our minds. But then we go to the other part of where um, Amy and Jake, yeah, that's the other brother, they went to school. And Jake's actually trying to become a better person. He read a book, a self-help book. And Amy is still want to be bad. And that's why she actually made it sound like the, the school bell rang 20 minutes early. So she could get out, of school, get out of school, at least get out of math class. Because apparently she tried to cheat and she suck at it. So the fourth time in a row, she got an F on a math test. Damn, just just learn just learn it, okay? Just learn the freaking crap. <laughs> so the idea now is to allow Amy to get become better by actually befriending someone. Hey, why not the granddaughter of the landlord? <laughs> so that's the plan, and they decide to actually go back to home and she comes over, Amy slams the door on her, Jake's like, come on, come on in, she was just joking, it's just the wind, and then they actually talk for a moment, and she's like, well, apparently she has a sun, sunlight group who actually does good for the community and good for the earth, that's nice, horrible hat though, but that's nice, and then she's like, oh my gosh, my favorite show's on, and it's the freaking celebrity um, reality show for superheroes, and of course, that's where he gets Starlight showing that she's now in getting endorsements, and now she got these freaking gold shoe over here, <laughs> and it's kind of funny where Jake made fun of Amy by making a meme, uh, I forgot the name of her, but the granddaughter decided to make a meme, too, of her getting her ass whooped by freaking Starlight. And then she got very angry and was gonna about to take a fork and fork her in a whatever. But then, of course, well, nope. My dad was supposed to actually fix a microwave, and he failed because he created a teleportation device instead. Thus, um, transporting to a... Uh, another dimension or entering another dimension another dimension something like that so she found as she goes over there jake's made sure she tries he tries to stop her and jake accidentally zapped her so now she's in the other unit in another dimension note the dad actually decided to actually make a basement as well so now they have a secret lair <laughs> so um the, f the mom and dad came back with cash form and lo and behold showed that he has his powers then after that they tell what happened and then the dad actually created a different teleportation device that actually will bring open a teleport uh, open a porthole 
into the other dimension so he can bring him back. So by accident, oops, he they used the wrong one because he didn't use red tape, blue tape. So now she's stuck there and she found the soon to be friend. And well, she decided to actually, since now they're going to die, and she accidentally used her sonic powers to save them. Tell the whole story, and this is why they're there. So now she knows their identities. And then after that, Jake opened the portal, got them out of there. And note the, I think this is not really needed, but just so you know, the other dimension, then since they actually ripped in a hole into that dimension, actually caused another hole to be opened. And now there's this other hole is absorbing everything that's in that dimension, aka rocks. So they made it back. As soon as they made it back, note the grandma was looking for her granddaughter because it's time to go to the dentist. And they had no choice but to use cast form to change into her granddaughter. But since it looks like cast form's powers don't work, he needs time to rest. So now they had to make sure that the landlord stay. So the mom actually caused some electrical disturbances. And then eventually, there we go. The granddaughter's here. Uh oh, two granddaughters. They use it like to disturb us again. Now we have cast form back in its normal form. And then you actually have them going. The grandma, granddaughter was about to tell the truth, but she's like, nah, that's not going to help you. So she leaves and go to the dentist, I think. So then at the end of that, besides the parents are freaking out that, oh, no, our identity has been blown. This little girl knows there now ends this whole entire thing by those two sitting in a doorstep, um, Amy and the, the granddaughter. And well, it looks like she's like, yeah, you guys deserve a second chance, though. And apparently what's going to happen is that Amy might become nicer mm -hmm. And the granddaughter could actually become more evil. <laughs> and note, she actually has respect for Havoc, actually, because she stood up for her family. And that's one thing that is true and nice. Standing up for your family when something wrong happens. And that's basically it. So that's the whole entire um, first episode. I think it was okay. It's not one where I'm like, oh, good Lord, oh, Disney, oh, God, Disney, what the heck, Disney, what the heck, Disney, please stop, I just can't do this, it's not bad, the only thing that kind of sucks is just the fact that they kind of same have the same formula where it's like, yep, laugh soundtrack, laugh soundtrack, laugh soundtrack, but I don't think it was too messed up, but still, it's like, I'm trying to get absorbed in the freaking moment, did they have me laughing a little bit, I'm like, <laughs> You know, a little snickering, a little little cut of laughter did happen, but other than that, it's like it's not me hysterically laughing though. I have to admit, the person they cast as the grandmother, I'm glad she's getting more money. She deserves to have always have more money. He's like, yeah, I always support those who actually I know have been around for like decades upon decades, and they deserve to get more money so they can give it to their grandchildren and give it to their great grandchildren. Hell yeah. I just feel sorry for Bill Cosby, though. Cops in Springfield. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Springfield cops are on the take. But what do you expect for the money we make? Whether in a car or on a horse. All right, boys.